Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In the last session, we have discussed what is the difference between deterministic Turing machine and non-deterministic Turing machine. What are the different computation history? What are the different outcomes of non-deterministic Turing machine? Now, in this session, we will discuss every non-deterministic Turing machine has an equivalent deterministic Turing machine. So we already know the meaning of equivalent. That means both the Turing machines express the same power. Both the Turing machines express the same measure. How can you say that this one? That means every language recognized by non-deterministic Turing machine, it can be the same set language are recognizable by deterministic Turing machine. That means if L is the language that is recognized by the non-deterministic Turing machine, then the same L can be recognized by the deterministic Turing machine. L and L. Then those two Turing machines have same power. Turing machines have same power. Then how do we prove? How do we prove? For example, N is a some non-deterministic Turing mission and D is a some deterministic Turing mission. What is our aim? We have to construct. We have to construct a deterministic Turing mission. Suppose in this process of construction, remember two points. If N accepts on any branch, we already discussed in the last session, if N accepts on any branch automatically, that string is accepted. That is then the determinic Turing mission will accept. That is no need to accept on all the branches. If at least accept on one branch in the sense, the deterministic Turing mission will accept. Suppose if N halts on every branch, N halts on every branch, without any accept without any accept then in this case that is without any accept in this case then the deterministic turing mission simply will halt and simply reject that means without any accept in the sense automatically it reject so these are the two things now we will represent in the computational history how do we represent we have many number of branches. So the representation is a very simple. In simple notation, I will draw like this. I'm starting at this position. Suppose multiple path, not only this one. You can choose a multiple path. You can represent each thing with the path number 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. From this 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 like this, whatever and how many number, this is not a constraint. For example, assume if this is an accepting state, assume this is an accepting state. So what is the path? Two, 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 two. This is the path, two, 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 this is the path. Suppose if this is an accepting state, the path is two, 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 one. That is we have to move two, 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 one. That means, a path to any node is given by a number. We are given a path to any node is given by a number and we are performing some searching operation on the tree and we are checking for accepting and we are for the searching purpose. What are the different searching techniques? One is depth first search, another one is depth first search. Which one is the preferred one? Remember, we are not allowing depth first. Why? Because this is a non-deterministic Turing machine. There is a chance one branch may be infinite. You know the DFS. What is DFS? This node, depth, 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 level by level, level by level, we are moving until, until the destination ends come. But in if an infinite path, it is not possible to move to other level. That is the reason we are using only BFS. That is moving level by level. If you are moving level by level, there is a chance of acceptance. If you are without level by level, if you are moving 
adjacent neighbor 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 and so on that is not a chance so what is the thing to examine the node we have to perform the entire computation write down the entire computation from the scratch and write down all the path numbers which may lead to accepting state which may lead to accepting state how it is represented remember the thing this is the input tape the tapes are first one is input tape and the second one is called simulation tape second one is called simulation tape and the third one is called address tape the tapes are categorized this is the turing mission this is the turing mission final state control yes. points to different positions input tape so this is the initial tape whatever the input we are providing that input is placed into the input tape and remember the input tape never modified the input tape never modified simulation tape simulation tape that is the main operation is performed that is it is used like the tape of a deterministic turing mission to perform the simulation simulation in the sense operation the entire simulation is performed here address tape address tape is at each and every position we have many number of choices available it is used to control the bfs to control the bfs that means it tells which choice we have to make during the simulation which choice we have to make during the simulation that is represented by this one now what is the algorithm how do we implement this one simply in the first step that is the starting step tape one contains the input tape one contains the input for example if the input is represented in a string format assume w1 w2 w3 and so on and in the next step copy the tape 1 into tape 2 copy tape 1 into tape 2 during this copy we are performing copy in the sense blindly we are not copying one symbol is replaced with another symbol on the stack for example we are replacing like this 0 1 and so on whatever it is once we are performing the copy operation we have to use tape 2 that means tape 1 is not modified you have to use tape 2 to simulate the turing mission n on the given string w given choices on tape 3 that means so tape 3 contains 1 2 3 that means the simple thing we are using tape 2 for the given string based on this choice that is we are moving into for example at this position we have two choices suppose if the current head points to two that means i am selecting choice two you got it whatever the current head points so here current head points to three that means for the particular string we have three chances one two three but we have to move to choice three that is the thing that is the tape 3 specifies which choice you have to select. Once we are selecting that particular choice, if you are moving into accepting configuration. So accepting configuration of n. That is if the configuration means the string representation. Simply if it is accepted means that is accepted. For example, if there is no choice, that is if there is no path to move in any direction, or no choice or any invalid choice or rejecting or rejecting then we are moving into the next step suppose go to step four what is the next step the next step is increment tape three again go to step two that means we have to increment the tape head to the next two position again implement go to tape to the same process is repeated the same process is repeated until it is accept that is 
and accept is ever encountered and halt if all the branches are rejected then only it will halt and reject this is the way based on this one we can prove that non deterministic turing mission and the turing deterministic turing mission accepts the same set of languages thank you